Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about activities for recognizing a pattern set in math. Now, the important, I mean, recognizing a set, a pattern set, is, is very important, and the earlier th that they recognize that, the better. So, depending on what kind of grades that you'll be working with, uh, here are some suggestions as to how to go about that. Now, on the younger folks, like to play with uh, blocks. So if the blocks have letters, numbers, etc., having them interactively organize the blocks in some kind of manner is a really good thing to do. Now, another thing to consider would be working with shapes. See if they recognize a repeated pattern of shapes. Suppose you have, take a triangle, and then you rotate the triangle a lot of times and see if the kids will be able to recognize the next um, next part of the sequence of that triangle in terms of the rotation involved. But you can work with triangles, uh, squares, circles, etc. Now, if you want to work with things such as numbers and letters, and you want to be able to demonstrate the sequencing of those numbers and letters in terms of patterns, one thing to maybe consider is, uh, you know, a suggestion, have the folks get up and represent numbers or letters, even if it means them carrying numbers and letters, and then kind of um, have them organize uh, each other so they can recognize what's the first letter and what's the last letter or what's the lowest number and then what's the highest number. And uh, the more you can have them be involved physically and gets them going and mentally, it'll work out pretty well. So there are just a few suggestions and uh, hopefully you can get a few ideas from there. So I'm Jimmy Chang and there are some ideas for activities on recognizing a pattern set in math.